Hey everybody, welcome to my first Let's Play. I'm going to be your host, Yellow Shy, and it's for the GameCube right here. And you probably clicked on the title that said Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum Part 1 or something like that. So let's just get right to it. That's, I mean, there's no spoilers. I can't really spoil anything. That's what it is, Pokemon Coliseum. Really excited for this Let's Play. A little history about myself, though. Uh, I'm not new to LP or YouTube by any means. Uh, I used to be Mac Dacular, 13. And I did four complete Let's Plays there. Just kind of wanted a fresh start. You know, I was kind of rushing things too much. I think what I'm doing now is a lot better. And just, I think what I'm going to do mostly in this channel is take my time and everything like that. Just enjoy myself a little more. So, I'm excited for this. And I consider Pokemon Coliseum and like the whole series, you know, XD of Gale of Darkness 2. I, guess, I don't know what you would call it. The, the Shadow Pokemon series, maybe. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're going to wait here because in about a minute's time or so, we're going to get a little intro to the game. And, I mean, it's part one, you don't have to rush or anything like that, so I'm just going to take my sweet time and not cut to it or anything like that. And I got lots I can kind of talk about here. I mean, it's first video, it's exciting. And you see we got two characters there on the left, and Espeon and Umbreon on the right. Uh, this game was created by the Pokemon Company and Genius Sonority, and they've done an absolutely incredible job with this game, and Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness for that matter, too. I always consider them to be the black sheep of the Pokemon game, because it's just got that kind of bad boy feel to it. As you can kind of see by the looks of those two characters on the left, they're quite important characters. But you just get that kind of, I don't know, just... It's not just a happy-go-lucky kind of atmosphere in this game, you know, it's quite gloomy in, in some circumstances. But apart from the character sprites they portray and some of the areas and the plot lines in this game, that's what I love about this game, is the plot line. It's just incredible what they do with it. And it's, you know, it's, I compare it to, you know, like a Pokemon Red, you were never given instructions that Team Rocket is doing this and such and you got to go beat them. You always just ran into them and then just kind of did it out of the way, but this is kind of the whole point of the game is to get rid of the bad guys, which which I think is what makes it more interesting because you're following the storyline a little bit more. So they're just flashing some of the areas in the game, and there's a town here and some strange looking characters with looks like pokeballs on their heads. Uh, I don't know, yeah. but yes, this is a quite the game. And this this is a little bit better than the intro that I made. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I got a new capture card, so hopefully it's not being hopefully it's not being stupoid. That's what I always used to say when I was young. Apparently instead of saying stupid, I used to say stupoid kind of when I was young. So I it just kinda of caught on and I just kinda of say stupoid all the time. And that for alligator's pretty stupoid using a water type move on grass type Pokemon G. Such a stupoid. Yeah, I, I guarantee I'll be saying that a lot because I do in real life say that a lot. You know, I, I replace the word stupid with stupid. It just sounds better. Like, I don't know. I mean, if you call someone stupid, it doesn't sound like you're calling them stupid. But if you say you're stupid, it just it makes it sound stupid or something. It makes it portray that they're really actually being stupid. I, I don't know. I, maybe I just overthink the word and that's all. <laughs> Anyways, inside this Pokeball is the title screen. <laughs> So they kind of show us again. But it's a little different rather than seeing these characters in Espeon and Umbreon. You're going to see uh, a whole bunch of starter Pokemon. The Johto ones and the Tall ones. Or Charizard, Blastoise, and uh, Venusaur just got left out. Anyway, we're not going to continue that silly. We're going to start a new game. And uh, we got a new name. And I think I'm just going to basically call myself Shy. I hate putting my name in all capitals because the, the rest of the text isn't. And then it just ends up being, it just ends up looking stupid, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I used a lot of this cl intro clip in my in my trailer that I made. Boom! Oh no, what is going on? Someone exploded in this. Whoever these people are, I don't know. In some strange looking, I don't know even what that is. He likes it anyways. These people are running and they're mad. They like, I don't know what's going on. Music in this game is absolutely wonderful too, I must point that out. Phenomenal job with the music thing. And it seems that some weird one-wheeled machine jumps in at Espeon and Umbreon, they got their own little spot. 
at school and he, he runs away and they don't have cool machines like that. They're just tired and it explodes again. That's a big explosion. And he is free. He's angry. And that's your start to Pokemon Coliseum. Right there, Alex. And so they just dump you off in this strange spot. I mean, the first time I played this game, I was so confused. I had no idea what was going on. But apparently, we got this guy. We got this. Apparently, we put that thing on our arm now. That we stole something. I don't know. So this is our main character. Um, and what it appears looks like some sort of gas station or something. I don't know. I mean, look at that thing on our arm. Like, it's, I don't know. He's just a. Uh, I don't know, left arm, so maybe he's left-handed, I don't know, just like me. I, I don't know, every time I see that thing, I always think of Liar Liar when Jim Carrey's like, I'm getting an incredible pain in my heart. It's uncontrollable. Nobody can stop. Oops. Ah. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, that's such a good move. But anyways, I gotta read the text here, so flat. Who's your pig daddy? I love John Dr. Joe. That's some flavor, I swear. Yeah, yeah. You bet yourself some great good catch, dude. Awesome. I'm sure to fix up in a big war suit. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. Look, I got some sort of moving sack in the back of their vehicle. I guess they didn't make a good catch. And you can see what I mean by being a bad boy feeling. Look at those characters. Just portrays a not very happy kind of world. So let's go inside, shall we? Because that's... In all honesty, what you're supposed to do. And we got a news flash. Authorities have been stunning announcement made by the building that exploded in Elko Canyon. It was Team Snaggers. Team Snaggers was a game of Pokemon and Doctors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time the police arrived, the room building had been abandoned. The cause of the explosion as an investigation, it should become apparent eventually. Yes, uh, very occasionally. Um, there'll be TVs and you can read the news flashes and stuff like that. So. Oh, I haven't seen a picture on these parts of travel, but I know that that can I don't know where you may have come from, but relax, stick around a while. Yes, we're just going to talk to some people here. Team's thinking, well, I, I guess so. I just watched the TV there. Playing a trailer for stuff right there. And so they're like, they're like the Team Rocket of this game. Like, jukebox. They don't want to rock the good jukebox. Anyways, talk to you. You got pink hair. You're a Pokemon character, are you? Well, I don't even know. Like, honestly, I guess so. I got a Pokemon, so I can tell. You're good. I've seen you're not a Pokemon professor, too. Yeah, yeah, right. Is that like a battle with you? Well, I don't have any chance of beating you. Yeah, we got some of the people that come here. They got Team Snagger. They don't deserve it. Not. They steal Pokemon from Trainer. Wow. I'd be a heck of a parade if they were wiped out for the record. I don't know. Steal Pokemon. Well, apparently, we knew where this was. Oh, and now I'm talking to you. I want, to talk, I want to talk to you. No. There we go. Yeah, I don't quite understand what happened, but having your hideout blow up on you. I just, what happened? My hideout. So am I part of Team Stagum then? I don't know. Yo, wait, wait up. Yes. And it's this guy. His name's Willie. This is the most common name you're going to find in the entire game. Willie. Trust me. So what do you say? That's a quick battle? Yes. He's going to walk you over. They don't, you don't really want to fight on a ramp, I guess. And he's all fired up now, too. Sorry if there's a little bit of a leg, you know, I don't know how long that was going on for. I don't really fix it. One of the cables is kind of loose on my capture card. I have to get a new uh, cable for it. <laughs> it's a brand new capture card, and of course, my cables are old and they don't work very good, so. Kind of have to adjust them. If they're just loose, they're a little loose fitting. I just need to get a new one. But. Go ahead and just go. I seen some of the story the other day. I'm like, ah, I'll get it some other time. But you just don't. So, welcome to your battle. It's your first battle. You got your Espeon, your Umbreon, and you got the Zigzagoons. And you got Espeon and Umbreon. That double battles are tough. I love the fact that everything's a double battle in this game. Just makes everything. I don't know. Just get the nice feel to the game. And, uh, so you can pretty much knock these Zigzagoons out pretty quickly. This is a very easy fight, by all means. Uh, Umbreon and Espeon are probably the two best Pokemon, I'm, I'm not going to lie, the two best Pokemon possibly it. you can use together, I mean, you can use the two of them here together in Delbao, and when you use them together, I think they're the best two Pokemon, it's one of the better, best combinations you can 
come up with some of the moves that they learn. And Espeon is very high special attack and very fast, so it's a uh, it'll do most of your damage. And Umbreon's slower, but has big defenses, so it can take a lot of hits. So this is a very good combination you can work around with. It's it's very nice. Very nice. So it appears that's all he's got. So I mean, I just kind of give you a little introductory battle there more than anything. Still be seasoning there, okay? Yeah, you're tough, real tough. You get real number off. Hey, I know one tester who spills a Fennec seed, so west of here. But my trainer feel way better than me here. You should go there and get some battling in, okay? Well, yeah, well, we're going to do that next time, right? I know this is kind of a short bit, but we didn't really do a whole lot. But we got started, that should be good enough. And we're spinning around, I don't know. So next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we're going to go with Fennec City, I guess. I don't know. You just you don't really know what you're really doing at this point. So we'll go there and hopefully we'll, we'll learn something. How about that? See you guys later.